Okay, first off, make sure you have your name grade table here on the new piece of paper that you're grabbing. Then, on the sketch piece of paper, on the back side of your drawing, so flip it over, you're gonna color with pencil on the back. And you don't have to color the whole thing just where your pencil lines are. So hold your pencil to the side. It should look something like that. And I'll show you what it looks like once I'm ready to transfer. Okay, so here's what I got. So you only have to color where your pencil lines are. You don't need to color the entire back of the sheet. Unless you just have a lot of detail and it makes more sense just to cover the whole back instead of where your lines are. Um, now, I am going to place it on my paper pencil side down. So I see my drawing here at the top. And then so it doesn't shift around, tape it in place. This tape is in a container at the material table. Don't skip taping it in place. I see people skip this step all the time and then they regret it. Notice I'm not using a ton of tape, just a little piece at the top will work just fine. Don't waste my tape, people. All right, now I'm gonna go over what I have drawn with my pencil. I press pretty hard, but you know, you don't need to like t press so hard that you tear through your paper or anything. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where I've been pressing. So I'll kind of color it in and make it darker so it's a little obvious. All right. And then when I take it off, the pencil that was uh, colored on the back transfers to my paper. So you can see my smiley face there. Um, it's gonna be light, so it's not a perfect method. You might have to go back in and kind of redraw your lines so you know what you're doing, but it'll give you a really good start so that you don't have to draw completely everything from scratch. All right, thanks guys.